hi there everybody on today's video I have this uh, Peugeot partner to P and this is a 1.6 HDI and I'm gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter so um, to start I'm gonna I'm just gonna open the oil filler cap and I'm gonna pull the dipstick So uh, for the time being, I'm gonna leave those like that. Now, um, the oil filter itself is sitting just behind those um, hoses there. And uh, we might just be able to see. The um, top of the uh, filter housing just there. Um, so to make it a bit easier for me, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna remove this hose here. Uh, which seems to be a bit loose anyway. Okay, so um Okay, well, um, in my case, this hose was a bit loose and um, it's come off all the way from the back. But uh, if yours is okay, um, you only need to you only need to lose this end um, on this side of the engine at the front, and then which is just held in by two clips on here. And then once you loosen this bit, you can take this off this part by twisting the hose like this and taking it out. Now we can have a better view of the um, filter there. That's a uh, 27 mil. Now I'm just going to get an oil pan under the um, area of the filter house in there, just in case some oil drops. That way we can just uh, avoid having to clean the mess afterwards. So 
things there's always have to be some kind of oil dripping from somewhere when you uh, when you're changing oil and oil filters <laughs> Okay, so once we've um, removed that filter, um, we can get the vehicle up and drain the oil. Okay, so looking at the car from underneath, uh, we can drain the oil. And I'm using a 21 millimeter socket. Now we can let the oil drain for uh, 5 to 10 minutes and then uh, we'll refit the sun plug with a new uh, copper washer and then uh, we can get some oil in and the new um, oil filter in as well. Now we can go ahead and uh, refit the um, sun plug. Okay, give that a quick clean with um, some uh, brake uh, clutch uh, fluid cleaner or uh, you can just wipe it off um, with a bit of paper. Uh, now we're gonna get the car down and uh, put the oil and the oil filter. So now that we, ca we have the car down uh, we can fit the uh, new filter. Now uh, I've bought a replacement filter which is this one here. It does look a bit different but um, what they've told me is that it's been modified um, so it fits a bit easier um, so we'll see um, we'll see what happens there and um, we also have to change the little the o-ring here We can get this um, O-ring out. Or gasket. And uh, we also need to remove this uh, filter from here. Now they can be a bit hard to pull out. But it basically needs to pull out. Okay, so with the help of a screwdriver I just um, wedged it a little bit in there and got it out because it's, it's quite hard to pull out. Okay, so we got the new filter there. Let's push that in. And that's the new uh, gasket there. This uh, gasket here is is a little bit. It's not the uh, it's not the round type. 
Um, so you need to make sure it sits in properly. As it can get a little bit twisted like you can see, I don't know if you can see here but Okay, that's okay now. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of grease around this. This is mainly so the gasket adjusts and sits in nicely when I'm when you screw this cup and a little bit on the Now we can go ahead and uh, fit the filter in there. Um, now inside the housing of the of the filter, there is a small hole where this will go in. So it's got to go in a specific way. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to screw it in properly. And I'm going to try to focus on that. So perhaps we can see where it is and what it looks like. So that is the housing there. That's the house in there, and that's the hall. That there is the hall where, where this part will go in. Okay, um, once it's, it's sitting in properly, uh, you will be able to screw um, that cover by hand a little bit. Uh, that way you know it's going in the right way. And uh, I'm not using a lot of force at all to screw that in so if you feel any resistance then it perhaps is not going in the right way so don't persist because you may damage the thread now that it's done we can uh, top up some oil Okay, so uh, we can top up the oil now and um, what you need to do is you need to check the dipstick here. Um, something's happened to this uh, dipstick. There is a, a missing part here. And um, 
it must have broken off of this one but basically um, in that dipstick you will have a minimum mark and a maximum mark and you want your oil to be if you just changed it so you will get it to the max um, which will be marked with a little arrow or so it will say max or something and then you on the bottom end you will have a minimum arrow or a minimum mark you want your oil to be sitting around there um, uh, that's, that's just in case you don't know um, how many liters go on in your vehicle um, you need to check the manual um, if you haven't got a manual then you can go by the dipstick um, which is what I'm gonna have to do because I haven't got the manual and the, this dipstick is damaged so I'm gonna get uh, another dipstick but um, I know this engine will take around three and a half liters uh, so to be on the safe side I will put um, three liters or so and then um, get the dipstick and um, top it up if necessary I think it'll be around 3.25 or 3.75 uh, nevertheless you check yours um, that's the only way to get the right amount if you have your dipstick is okay then go by the dipstick I'm using a 5W30 and um, I'll be topping this the oil will go in here Okay, so um, that's it, uh, basically. So um, I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.